Once SmartSense has been installed in your Inbari cluster, you can go ahead and start capturing data using the SmartSense view. We'll just access that view from the Views menu and click on SmartSense view. Once a view has been loaded, we can see we have two intents for data capture. The first is SmartSense analysis, which is pre-configured to capture configuration and metrics for all services and all nodes in the cluster. If we're being more selective and we're capturing data for specific services in the cluster and maybe even for specific hosts as part of a troubleshooting a support case, we can go ahead and click on support case troubleshooting. There we can choose all services or we can sub-select specific services. We can also select individual hosts that we'd like to perform that capture on or all hosts. Finally, we can enter in a case number and hit capture. This capture process is going to be initiated on every node that uh, we've chosen by the Embari Agent Framework. So I'm going to go ahead and hit yes so we can see the status of our capture and process. We can see if we click around through these different tabs here, which specific hosts are participating in the collection, which ones are still working on collecting that data, and which ones have successfully uploaded that data to the HST server itself. Once every host has completed its capture, we'll go ahead and mark the entire bundle as complete and give you the opportunity to download that support case bundle. When you click on the link to download, you'll be downloading a tar.gz file, and this can easily be uploaded to support. If you want to capture data for our SmartSense analysis, all you have to do is click on the capture button. At that point, like I said before, we have a pre-configured capture just for configuration metrics um, for all hosts, all services, and we're going to go ahead and capture that data and pack it up into a bundle very similarly, but that specific bundle will be encrypted by default and only our SmartSense analysis environment can decrypt that data. Now that our SmartSense bundle has been captured, we can go ahead and download it. If I click on this link, by default I'm going to download an encrypted bundle. But if I'm working with my security team to better understand exactly what's being captured as part of this process, I can also download an unencrypted bundle for review with them. Once I have my SmartSense bundle, we can easily upload it via SFTP to our SmartSense environment. Once that bundle has been uploaded, then um, you will receive an email letting you know that we've received your bundle and when the recommendations are ready for review, you can review the recommendations for your cluster in the Hortonworks support portal. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at what our recommendations look like in the support portal. If I go back to the support portal here, I can see the tab next to tools where we downloaded the utility it is a SmartSense tab. If I click on SmartSense, I can take a look at all the different clusters that I have in my environment that I've uploaded bundles for. We're going to go ahead and take a look at our lake cluster and we'll see specific recommendations that have been produced for this cluster. Each of these recommendations are ordered by priority, so we have our most critical recommendations listed first, followed by our high, medium, and low priority recommendations. If we take a look at these in, in detail, we can see we have specific recommendations focusing on disabling a Linux feature called Transparent Huge Pages. So we have the description of what we're looking to accomplish, what, what we found, what recommendations we have, and finally, how to apply that specific recommendation. We also have other recommendations that are focused on operations, security, and performance. Once you've applied the specific recommendation, you can click on Resolve and let us know if it helped you. If it did help you, then you can let us know how much it helped and any comments that we could use to maybe improve our recommendation for other customers. If for whatever reason you don't feel that's applicable for your environment, maybe it's a situation where you're running later versions of Red Hat or CentOS in which transparent huge pages doesn't have as much of an impact, you can let us know that as well. And finally, if it's something that you intend to apply later, maybe it's on your internal roadmap, you can let us know that you're choosing to defer the recommendation at that time. And this concludes our demo. So I want to thank you for your time and encourage you to visit our website, portalworks.com, for more information on SmartSense, including a white paper, webinar, and information about how you can get started. Take care.